Hello guys, um, my name is Jakub Steiner and I'm going to be showing you some basics of motion design done in Blender, the 3D package that usually is used for gigantic projects like the Sintel Open Movie, but we're going to be using a fraction of, of its potential to create animated mockups because uh, in GNOME 3 part of the great experience is that uh, there's no abrupt um, changes in the interface. We try to create fluid transitions that are not there just to you know, create a gimmick, but they're there to uh, communicate better the two states that, that change and it makes a huge deal um, when things are not just jumping at you from um, you know, one state to another. And my fellow designers uh, are using very labor-intensive tools, uh, essentially doing frame-by-frame -frame animations, while a lot of that can be offloaded to the computer to create the intermediate states. And also, Blender is great in that it has tools like the Dope Sheet and the uh, uh, Intervallation Curve Editor, uh, that allows you to tweak the animation, to retime and do various uh, modifications of that and that is very important because you do want to have the flexibility to alter and find the really uh, sweet spot. So let's get going. This is the Blender interface. It doesn't look like anything you've seen, hopefully, because if it does look familiar then this screencast is probably not for you because I will only cover the basics, the very basics to get you going um, to create, uh, you know, really simple, essentially 2D animations in Blender. Now, uh, I'm gonna revisit why you want to use Blender. Um, essentially, it's because uh, you have a real-time preview of your animation that you're that you're gonna get and uh, it will allow you to do easy modifications uh, and you will be able to you know iterate over multiple designs which is what we want as you can see the real-time preview is not perfect uh, I got a very low quality uh, textures visible here um, also, there are some issues with alpha, alpha compositing some um, of some of the textures. Uh, it's not possible to, for example, uh, do the uh, transitions if you have multiple textures on a on a pane, which I have here. Uh, it really doesn't blend them. So the the 3D viewport. Um, rendering is not very accurate but it is still useful just to get an idea how to position things but we will get into that really soon before we begin um, I uh, have to mention that this this project that, that you're seeing here is the mock-up of the workspaces uh, and there's some other uh, mockups uh, available in the GNOME shell design repository so you can load it up look for yourself and uh, you can study it and it's probably going to be helpful for some of you um, you know just to check um, if you get stuck you can load it up and, and see uh, what the culprit is um, but uh, we will start from a blank, um, uh, oops, um, blank document. Actually, that, that is kind of funny. Uh, very meta. <laughs> you will, you can see that uh, Blender actually um, does everything uh, real time, so you can be, you know, uh, changing um, uh, the scene. Uh, fiddling with the interface and it just keeps on playing the uh, the 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 animation you could be rendering in the background 
but as you can see, Shell is playing along with that. So what you see here is uh, is the old iteration of workspaces running in the new iteration of workspaces. Uh, very meta. Uh, but let's uh, let's start from scratch. So um, this is how the uh, the scene looks when you load it up, and um, there's many things that we won't need. Uh, we will definitely not need the light because we will be using a special uh, mode of textures that essentially shines, uh, so light will not play uh, any role in our scene. Uh, we will need the camera but we will not need the this object um, but let's start from the very beginning and that is what the hell is this interface it looks nothing like uh, like what you may be familiar with um, so what the main window the uh, blender essentially is like a, like if you were using a tiling window manager you can set it up any way you want and you actually have multiple uh, views which you can see here um, so you can rearrange and create new ones and you can quickly move between them with uh, control and left and right um, the, this, the the biggest viewport here is the 3d view and um, you can see that there is a well it is a header although in this layout it looks like a footer but you can actually put it if you right click on the header you can put it on top and you can actually even hide it if you uh, scale the uh, the border uh, it goes away if you click the, the, the plus uh, actually no if you click which plus uh, there should be a plus uh, there okay um, it's gonna pop up again uh, you can any 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 viewport you can actually split if you drag it by this this little um, uh, corner you can do the same uh, if you drag it back it's gonna merge but it only merges uh, you, know, you can't for example merge this one to the left uh, you would have to first merge it with the one on top and then with the one on the left so uh, why why do I have a different view here and here well that is determined by uh, this little drop down and here's the list of, of all the views that you have this here is the 3d view as you can see and another one that you will very likely uh, always need is the buttons uh, what's called properties now so um, that's where um, you can actually alter properties of, of things and, and uh, switch between um, uh, the various major um, uh, components of the of the workflow so that should cover it for setting up your environment but now when we're inside the actual 3d view although we will be working on on, on 2d mockups mostly uh, you would still you know need to move in the 3d space to select objects for example which are uh, on top of each other and that sort of thing so um, you will very likely want to have a keyboard with um, a numerical uh, keypad because um, some very essential functionality is bound to the keys in there um, and those are the number seven which uh, uh, shows you that the top view number one which is the the front three uh, you're looking from the right and then if you press shift and all of those keys it's gonna do the inverse so instead of top you get uh, actually it's control haha 
its bottom. If you use Control One, uh, it's it's from the back rather than front, and from the left rather than from the right uh, for uh, three. Um, and you can see that Blender does a really lovely thing, and that is uh, what we why we're doing it, you know, in the first place, and that's transitions rather than just giving you two states and uh, you probably would not have as much idea of what's happening it animates between the states giving you much more uh, context of uh, you know w w what is happening I like that very much uh, but it's blender so all of this is configurable and uh, we will not be that if you want to uh, I think you can still drag this. No, it actually has a separate pane now, so it's user preferences, and there's uh, there's lots of things hidden in here. I don't even. Oh, how the hell? Can't, oh, I can't make it shorter because of this. Well, yeah, um, it's it's big. There's lots of things, lots of things. We, I hopefully we won't need to dive in there. Um, doo -doo -doo. let's make it uh, info again and move it back okay so we can uh, change the views uh, like that but uh, you can also see me uh, pan around I do that by pressing the middle mouse button and uh, if I hold shift uh, uh, there's probably terms for this. This is probably uh, Dolly, I think. I don't know. Bam. Ro rotate the view. Uh, if you press Shift, you pan or uh, strafe in in games. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know the the English terms for this. Um, and then if you press Control, you can zoom in and out. You can also use the the mouse wheel. For that, um, another very useful thing um, that I'm just going to mention: if you want to just, uh, if you have a very complex scene and you just want to concentrate on a few objects, you can select them. You select them by right-clicking, and if you want to select multiple, you just hold Shift. And then on the numerical keyboard uh, keypad, if you push uh, the slash key. It's gonna create a local view which only shows the the objects that you selected. If you push it again, you're gonna come come back to the whole uh, whole scene. Um, so that's um, essentially moving in the 3D space, uh, and then you have uh, transformations. Uh, the time we have for the screencast, however, has run out, and so transformations. Uh, will be the topic of the next screencast. Uh, if you are at all interested in these screencasts, please let me know in the comments. And uh, if there's enough uh, feedback that I get, a positive one that is, uh, I will continue and we will learn all it takes to create animated mockups like the ones you've seen on my blog. So take care guys and I'll see you next time.